What's up guys, welcome to another video, it's your boy Chiggy here, today I'm gonna show you the way that I'm using to hit 99 overall, now I'm about to hit 90, and I honestly haven't even been grinding that much, I've been playing a lot, but not necessarily grinding hard, and I do wanna apologize if I sound weird, I did want to go to the dentist, so my mouth is a little swollen, but anyways, let's jump right into the video, the number one thing that you wanna do is put this game on Hall of Fame, guys, I'm telling you, there's not that big of a difference between Hall of Fame and Pro, don't be scared, just give it a try if you haven't, it's actually not as scary as you think it might be. Put it on Hall of Fame. The multiplier, it's insane. It's going to get you a lot more points. I actually did uh, the comparison. And in the game where I played in Pro, I ended up uh, getting 27,000 points. And then the game that I played in Hall of Fame, in which, by the way, I didn't do that good. I actually ended up getting over 35,000 points and uh, I played worse so you know I'll definitely go with Hall of Fame now putting it simple for you guys all you're really wanting to do is get assists now if you read the title this is actually a method for guards it does, it's not gonna work as good for big men so if you're a guard you want to get as much assist as you can but there's tricks to it you know one thing that you want to make sure that you do is every assist that you get is either a flashy pass or an alley-oop. Preferable, the flashy pass because the flashy pass gives you a lot more points than any other pass in the game gives you. So try to make every single pass a flashy pass. Um, if there's somebody on the way and you know the flashy pass isn't gonna work, then go for an alley-oop because alley-oops also give you a lot of points. Another thing is you want to consistently call for a pick and roll and that is because you want to activate pick and roll maestro which is also gonna give you some extra points when you use pick and roll maestro successfully. The other thing is you want to have good players on your team like for example I play for the Lakers so I have LeBron James and he is my go-to guy. You want to have somebody like him, somebody like him or Anthony Davis, Blake Griffin, uh, the Greek Freak, players like that that are big and they can score inside consistently but also players that are fast and they can dunk really well so that you can throw them lobs big match will be really effective the Andrew Jordan, the Marcus Cousin, players like that will be really effective as well and you also want to make sure that you have some shooters on your team because a lot of time the CPU will pick up on those big mans and uh, shooters on the corners will be open and you want to make sure that if you do hit them they hit the shot Anyways, let's, let's go into some gameplay. As you guys are seeing me do right here, I'm pressing L1, just basically just tapping it once, and I'm holding the button for LeBron James. You want to make sure that you call for a screen from your best player. In my case, it's always LeBron James. I call for the screen, LeBron James comes, and then all I'm simply doing is just a, a regular pick and roll, except I'm doing a flashy pass or an alley-oop. Now one thing to keep an eye out for is a lot of times when you are trying to do a flashy pass you are going to do a bounce pass and that isn't gonna give you as many points however it's better than nothing so you might as well take the assist. You have to be careful because a lot of times the, the computer will read what you're doing if you're constantly spamming pick and roll with the same player the same exact way the CPU is gonna adjust to the way that you are playing and it's gonna make it a lot more difficult for you. In those cases, what you can do is you can switch and call for a pick from a different player because a lot of times since you are giving that one specific player out so many points, they're going to be double teaming him, which means if you call for a pick and roll from someone else, it might make it a lot easier. Another thing is if you're calling for the pick and roll and they're constant the, the CP and the defenders are staying back defending the paint you want to make sure that you ask your, uh, the player that's sending you the pick to fade instead of, instead of rolling. This way, once you attack the paint, he's going to stay behind on the three-point line. And a lot of times what will happen is those two defenders will switch on you and he will get a wide open three. And last but not least, if you actually get a easy drive to the paint where the paint is wide open for you, instead of doing a pass, you can simply just take a regular dunk or a layup or whatever and, and score the point. Don't be afraid to score when you attack the paint. The reason being is you're going to get something called successful dri dribble drive and this also gives you a lot of points as I will show you when I show you all the, the points that I got at the end of the game. Now I know I, I'm talking a lot but basically just do pick and rolls and make sure that every assist is either a 
flashy pass or a alley oop. And if you do score, try to make every single one of your points be a drive to the basket. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, let me know down below and I will try to help you out. Now I'm just gonna show you the points that I got towards the end. As you guys are seeing this, you will start to notice that flashy passers give you a lot of points. I only got a couple of them and I ended up getting a ton of points. And also, dribble uh, successful drives to the basket or successful dribble drive also gives you a lot of points. So, anyways guys, that is the method that I'm using. I will update you guys if, if I find a better method. This is not gonna get you to 99 super fast but it is gonna be faster than you know your regular casual players so thank you guys very much for watching if you enjoyed make sure you hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one